Hey guys, it's Woody here, and I have an Uber's battle. Unfortunately, this one is post narrated, but it, I swear to you, it is a good battle. And if you like Uber's, you can leave a like in the like section, <laughs> and I'll do more. And I will love you very much if you do very much. So, team preview. I already am scared of Xerneas. Um, Xerneas is really a difficult thing to counter, especially once it gets like that first turn Geomancy off. It's very, very difficult to deal with. So, I mean, we would try and not be in that situation. And another thing that I do not want is Ditto, because Ditto is probably Scarfed Imposter, so I really don't have much room to set up. If he does bring out Ditto on my Xerneas, then, you know, it's pretty much good game for me. So, we try not to do that, but... I figured I was going to lead off with Landris here, and Landris would set up Stealth Rocks or U-Turn, depending on what his lead is. I figured his Diaga was his Stealth Rocker, but if anything, he would lead off with Genesect, which everyone, every single battle, I'm going to lead off with Landris. They're going to lead off with Genesect. Same exact first turn. I cannot get over it. It's literally the same exact first turn every single time. Can we just discuss this for like a, a few seconds so I figured he was gonna ice beam I've never battled my opponent before so I figured he's gonna ice beam he didn't want to predict too early in the game so ice beam ice beam happens so I'm like yeah I predicted so I figured now he is choice scarf so he's gonna want to switch out and go into Dialga and I figured here all right I'll bring in Landris he's not gonna he's not gonna want to deal with earthquake and at the same time I could set up stealth rocks but honestly once I brought out Landris I kind of made a really silly play I went for the earthquake instead of just going for stealth rock which I should have done in the first place because what he ends up bringing in is ditto so he just becomes my Landris literally my Landris set so he also has the ability to sub Stealth Rocks if he wanted to, however, I figured he wasn't really posing much of a threat here, so I was going to go out into, not go out, but I was just going to use this opportunity to set up Stealth Rocks because I'm pretty sure none of his Pokemon can uh, Rapid Spin or Defog them away, so that's always a plus. However, I am, once again, intimida intimidated now, so that was a good play, but... He goes for a Dragon Pulse, and I went for Earthquake, kind of just to see how much damage it does. It really does not do a lot. If I was not intimidated, then I would have had a better time dealing with this thing, because it probably would have been a two-hit KO at that point, but now it's not because of Intimidate, so that really did matter a lot. Now, I do make the mistake of going into Scizor. I did predict the Dragon, and then I predicted that he was going to go for Fire Blast or Flamethrower, so I brought out Kyogre, so I'm like... All right, this isn't this isn't the worst thing in the world, and I predicted his flamethrower just nice. Unfortunately, Stialga is giving me problems. In the end, what I would like to do is bring in Mewtwo successfully. Here, I was just kind of going for damage. I end up getting paralysis, but it doesn't really matter because he has a lumberry. So right now, he's just gonna keep going for dragon pulses just to try and get my Kyogre down. This is my scarf Kyogre, so I valued it a lot, and I ended up bringing in my Scizor here kind of as fodder which is one of the biggest mistakes that I could have made this match because Xerneas uh, pretty much I needed it for Xerneas that's all I'm saying I needed Scizor for Xerneas and I let it die way too quickly when I should have probably let something else die on my team for instance Kyogre maybe Landris at this point because I already got Stealth Rock up but I do get my Mewtwo in safely on the on the bright side. He's in safely and I just Aura Sphere to get the kill because this thing has annoyed me enough and we don't want to deal with it. So luckily Dialga goes by. However, I am I am sad because I let my scissor go to waste when Xerneas is around and Xerneas is a thing. I knew he was going to set up Geomancy, but there's there really is no safe switch in for me. I decided to go for size shock because I figured, uh, or whatever, I figured it's hitting from the defensive side. However, the only issue now is that he has Xerneas with plus two speed, plus two special defense, and plus two uh, special attack. And there's pretty much no way that my Mewtwo can live that. No way, like, ever. So. 
I'm put in this awful position in which I'm probably going to get swept by Xerneas because I let my Scizor die. If I had my Scizor right now, this would not be a problem because I could easily bullet punch it and it's not, it's literally not an issue. So I, I kind of run in Kyogre, I'm like, maybe I'll outspeed, although I highly doubt it because both of these Pokemon are just so slow. So I guess that doesn't happen. And I end up going into my Xerneas here. Expecting to die to be honest. I expected to die. He switched out which I'm like that's that's a bit weird But he went into his Genesect and at this point I kind of went for Moonblast I'm like if for some reason I I Psy Shock Psy Shock not Moonblast, but if for some reason I, I lived Then I mean I maybe would have killed it, but I He switched out which is just really weird to me, but I kind of bring in Landris here to fodder off Landris honestly should have been foddered off a long time ago, but he U-turns which ends up working out for me um, But at the same time, I just I can't set up with Xerneas because he still has probably scarfed uh, Ditto that's imposter, but he goes for extreme speed here I actually live that surprisingly and end up U-turning out get some super effective damage on it and uh, at this point I bring in my Giratina Garatina, whatever you want to call it. I get, I get, I get people telling me how wrong I say things, but this is also another point in which things matter. So I know he's a physical set. He's probably going to want a swords dance. So I'm like, all right, let's go for Will-O-Wisp and it misses. So uh, I'm pretty sure I've gotten more Scald Burns than I have with Will-O-Wisp at this point. So that's, that's a lot of fun for me. It's sarcasm, but not only does he get a critical hit, and I miss Will with my Giratina is just getting completely screwed over by hacks every single every single way. Which, it in the long run, it does end up mattering because I do make some predictions later on that would have I would have probably taken a lot better had my Giratina Giratina had more health. So now I kind of go into Landris uh, just as fodder to see what he would have gone for. He would have gone for Shadow Claw, and here I'm basically forced to go into Xerneas to kill him off. There's no point in me trying to set up a Geomancy. If Ditto was not around, then I would have gladly set up a Geomancy on this burned uh, Ar Arceus, but I ended up going for Moonblast just to take him out. Once again, no point in me setting up once uh, because Ditto's around, so. He goes into his Xerneas now, which I, I mean, it might be a speed tie, but I am timid, so I'm already max speed, but I end up killing it, so maybe he thought he might outspeed me. I don't know. That's what I'm assuming happened there, but his last, not his last, but he's go he goes into Genesect. I predicted the Iron Head. Like, the Iron Head was super obvious, so I ended up going into my Giratina. And honestly, I would like to think that if I actually took the Shadow Claw damage without the crit, I I would have been a lot more health, and honestly, I would have been able to take this and not die. And this was a crit too. This was a crit too. Honestly, if someone wants to do damage calcs to see if that mattered, can we please? Because I th I have a feeling that mattered, but my Giratina just ended up getting screwed over by crits everywhere, and this is... This is the last thing that I have, and no way it's not living in Iron Head. But, needless to say, regardless, uh, it was a good match. So, if you'd potentially like to get a battle with me, I do a lot of battles over Twitter, and sometimes I stream, but if you're not subscribed to me, then subscribe, and I will love you very, very much. But, as always, I love you guys so very much, and have a wonderful day, and bye!